Hey there folks of YouTube, this is Dan Demented coming at you again today with another satisfactory Let's Play. Um, I know I skipped making the um, 7 Days to Die video, but that's mostly because I was ill last week. Uh, hopefully there will be one this week. Alright, so I've got the new factory to show you. Uh, so everything over here is about the same. However... Here is the beginning of my new factory. It is not completed. Uh, this is literally just a big box to put all my stuff in. Alright, so I've got six generators over here. And I've got inputs here for iron, caterium. Outputs for the awesome sink. Inputs for limestone, copper, and iron. Okay, so let's get in the actual thing. Now here on the base floor, I have my smelters set up. And I also have my uh, biofuel set up. So I have two iron here, uh, one caterium here. I haven't got that set up to like make quick wire or anything. I've got uh, concrete set up here. All of these go upstairs and will go upstairs. To let you know, I did buy some stuff in the awesome sink. I bought those little wall outlets. I bought these uh, conveyor belt holes. And I bought... I might have bought... Oh, I bought the conveyor belt uh, holes. Okay, so let's head up. Alright, so the second floor of the factory is... Uh, base construction. Alright, so I have... <clears throat> this one is making wire. Uh, this one is making copper sheets. This one is making iron plates. And this one is making iron rods. This one, I believe, is making screws... Yes, screws. Uh, this one is also making screws because we'll need a lot of screws. This one is making cable. This one is making plates. And this one is making rods because we'll need plenty of rods. We'll need plenty of cable. All right. So from here, they get stored in these uh, storage containers. And then they get sent upstairs to the assembly room which is over here as soon as I stop getting hung up on things alright and everything is set up so that overflow goes into the awesome sink which gets sent up here and goes into the awesome sink to give us point. a bit of allergy things going on alright so I have this set up to make smart plates I have this set up to make rotors. I have this set up to make reinforced plates. And as soon as we get the uh, 20 or the 50 smart plates done, which it looks like it'll be another mm, two per minute. So that's, I got uh, 20 more left. Yeah, 20 more left. So 10 minutes. Uh, as soon as 10 minutes goes by, we'll be able to put that in and send it up in the space elevator. Uh, okay, so from here, I could go look for sulfur. Sulfur. 
Okay, I think I'll do that. I think I'm gonna go search for sulfur. Ooh, that's not close, is it? That's very not close. Where's the nearest sulfur? 2,000 meters away. Mmm. Well... I mean, I do need some. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make a portable miner. Grab some plates and some cable. Some rods and some concrete. That should be good. And I guess we'll go search for sulfur. Uh, I'm just gonna probably cut and catch you guys whenever I see it, unless I find something really interesting. So, um, I guess I'll see you there. Much more careful here. Ah, that would be why. Oh. I know where I'm at. I, I know exactly where I'm at. I set up a base over here. Like in one of my other playthroughs. Well, my best option is just to run through here, and the the sulfur is going to be over there. So I'm going to give that a shot. Run, 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 run. Yep, yep, yep. Run, 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 run. So, I actually know this area really well. Like, really, really well. There's a copper and iron node right over there. There's sulfur node down there. The only thing that has changed is these things. just in here. I set up a base like right in here. This little canyon here. It's fantastic. Or it was. So there should be a couple of nodes here. Oh, yep, yep. Got fireflies. there, there's a limestone node over there, there's two more copper nodes, or iron nodes over here, like right next to each other, mm. and then there's another one there, yeah, okay, so 
this is a good place for a base, but I'm not. I'm, I might set up a secondary base here, but not anytime soon. What we are here to do is to set up sulfur, which I know where the sulfur is. It's down there. See, that's the funny thing about this game. Uh, the game is, has just one map. It, there is only the one map. So if you run into a place that you've been before, you already know where everything is. Uh, the only thing that's different is the purity of the ores and uh, where the creatures are and what creatures there might be. Bacon Argonet, and there are two of those, and if, if this is like my last playthrough, those are impure nodes, which, mm, not great, but not terrible. realized I need to do something else because since I know what's over here I know where there's something I'm gonna need Awesome. Yeah, I'm not going up and getting that. <sighs> There's also quartz just up there. Uh, we're going to go back up here. And we're going to stack these two up on top of each other. Which um, means I am probably going to run out of conveyor before should. I am also going to take a straight path instead of uh, going up through that because that thing will kill me. The, uh, the monster or the creature over there is uh, too tough for me to kill right now. I would have to hit it with my little Xeno Zapper like about a dozen times. And it's just... Uh, I, I just can't. is we're going to build some foundations and take a uh, direct route. Which some people may think of as cheating or, you know, cheesing out. To them, I will absolutely say, yeah. Okay, let's 
así. I didn't check to see if my bio mass burners were full before I left. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Ooh, look, a pod that has something I can't beat on it right now. Or is that a normal one? That's a normal one. Yeah. Computers, screws, iron plates, modular frames, and uh, what does it need to open? Yeah. Alright. Aha! It needs frames. Nice. Another hard drive. So we're back-ish. We did find sulfur. We did find uh, coal. Uh, I did find the place where one of my old bases was in one of my other games. That's kind of cool. So I got a good idea of where everything is around there. Uh, let's throw this hard drive in the ma'am. And... Uh, Go drop off the... I don't think I have very many leaves and stuff. But I think I have a few. That's... Wood. Alright, so the top one is leaves and stuff. The bottom one is wood and stuff. Alright, let's get some... Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. But before I do that, we're going to go upstairs. And we're going to get the smart plates and send it off. 50. And yes, we'll let that keep going because we'll need more. Now, with the space elevator, you can have uh, like your machines feed directly into it, so you can do it piecemeal at a time. Or you can do it like this, where you just put it in, seal it, Send it. And it already loads up phase two up there in the top right. There it goes. Alright, now you see up there in the top right that is our new objective. And yeah, it kind of exponentially got bigger it's to unlock the. Uh, melee combat because <laughs> uh, that opens up the Xeno Basher which is super useful you done you done you done six seconds okay let's hope for a good recipe mmm that's a good recipe. And that's a good recipe. Okay, so right now we are making 40 screws per minute out of bars. But we're actually making less because we have to make the bars first and then we make the screws. We can get rid of whole constructor and go for straight from iron to bars using the exact same amount of material okay here we are currently making five per turn 
using three three times as many plates yeah and more than three times as many screws 15 per minute would be real useful I'm not even worried about the quick wire right now I've got more than enough caterium uh, honestly I think the screws is gonna be the better choice because it'll yeah the screws are definitely gonna be a better choice all right let's and before we leave we're gonna go fix this okay that was a good recipe that was a really good recipe yeah I'm gonna go finish that and uh, I will be back after I'm done if I have done everything correctly, we should start seeing... Okay, I'm going to show you guys something kind of cheaty, but not really cheaty. So, there is no binoculars or anything in this game, but you can push P to go into picture mode and zoom in. And yes, we have coal coming. So, even with... 500 plates I did not have enough to make the conveyor belt go all the way. I came close. Probably only need another 400. Uh. Alright, I'm going to end it there as soon as I get back to the base. So, uh, I... I'm gonna go ahead and build, finish building this off camera. There's nothing you can really do with sulfur and coal right now. Uh, later on you'll be able to make uh, steel out of it. So, I will eventually pipe in that other iron and the coal into my base and I'll make steel out of that. Um, right now I am going to say that's going to do it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you like, comment, subscribe, do all the normal YouTube -y stuff. I hope you have a good day and I'm going to reload my biomass burners and I will catch you later. Bye.